Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sky Factory 2. Here with E1. Good morning. <laughs> As always. And, um, all right, so we're starting on our tree farm area over here. And I don't remember if last episode I had that over there done, but I got the platform done for our house, which we went ahead and built it. What do you think? Should be plenty of room for all of our machines and automation and all that stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was telling, I was telling you, this is the best house you can live in this. Yep. Um, and if the uh, if the our call quality sounds a little different um, than normal, it's because we're using uh, Curse Voice instead of um, Skype. Um, so you might want to leave us a comment and let us know if it's better or worse. But Skype is down at the moment, so <laughs> this is what we had to use to uh, be able to record uh, and, and not have to go back and forth with the chat and me have to edit a bunch of time out for typing. <laughs> so, um, all right, we're getting, uh, we got some stuff over here. Um, we got the planter and the harvester. Now, the planter needs to go here. Oh, lost that block. The planter needs to go there. Actually, I take that back. It needs to go down one. Uh, but we're going to have to put a platform under this so we can work for, on that. Um, the harvester, now I'm hoping that I'm doing this correctly. I may need to just make different, uh, or make a couple more harvesters and make uh, radius upgrades for them. But for now, I think what's going to happen anyway is, well, is for one, I need more slabs. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have somewhere to set it. <laughs> and these tanks are going to wind up moving too, so. Um, but first, we're going to have to build a platform down there, so I actually need to make a bunch of slabs. But this is the general idea. Um, and then I've got a sludge boiler too, or we do, and... Uh, I can't reach. There it is. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, alright. So, I do need to get more plastic. Where's our rubber at? Put it in the ender thing that I made. My chest got so... go so fast. Yeah. Right here. E1, E1 made us this ender furnace that... That here, thing is, like, in. insanely fast. Like, compared to a regular furnace, at least. That thing is <laughs> awesome. So, well, that was fast. I think the slow mode... The slow mode is to, like, not take too much of the... Um, charcoal you know oh fuel. maybe that's probably what it is you're right yeah the slow mode is probably more fuel efficient fast mode just burns through the charcoal or at least yeah. we're, we're using charcoal anyway all right so i got some plastic um i need emeralds one two three four five six we got plenty yeah we're gonna we're gonna start with this oh also <clears throat> i need two redstone for each thing so i need where is that Where'd all the redstone? Oh, you made blocks out of it. No, oh, we had too much. <laughs> now, we'll get all that into a sorting system here at some point. And I have gold nuggets in here, or do I gotta get them out of a... I got a barrel of them over here, it's okay. Yeah, I got eight and a half stacks of gold nuggets we can turn into gold ingots whenever we need gold. Uh, so, we'll throw that there, that there, and that there. Nope, that is not right. What did I do wrong? What's up? Oh, I know what I did. Hold on. There we go. One and two. And those do not stack, of course. So there's that. Took Okay, you put more stone in there. That's cool. Um, so we're going to throw <coughs> these rubber bars here and this plastic here. Actually, I'm going to put the plastic over here. This is going to be our temporary mine factory reloaded chest. Um... So, also, the other thing I need is I need a, um, I need a hammer from Mine Factor Reloaded. Now, which one is it? Because I don't know what, is it 
precision sledgehammer. That's it. Three plastic sheets and two sticks. That is easy enough. So we'll take that. That way we can see exactly what radius we're getting on our machines. Okay, so this, yeah, see that's got to drop down one. But if I take this and I plug that in there, that fills up this whole thing. So that harvester, ooh, actually, uh... You want to make it more? I, I got to make it bigger. <laughs> Um, like I, two, I got more stone. So. We got we got to make it two blocks bigger. So let's go two blocks each out, way. Uh, one well two blocks total. Um, in two directions. Oh. I think it's two directions. Let me walk out here and check this one. But um, yeah, definitely. So go out this way and go out that way. Don't, two two. Yeah, two blocks each side of those one. two those two sides. Yeah, now just wrap that around to this other corner and I'll move this machine over um, to right here if I stop misplacing blocks there's that okay alright now we're in business so I also have to move my planter over and out to here. Can I not pick that block up for some reason? Do I have the block? Do you have the block? Did the block fall down the hole? I have no idea. Um, I'm going to drop that in there for a second because I am going to drop down and make a um why is my inventory doing weird things i know i'm lagging too oh really hmm yeah it's weird i wonder well i don't, can't explain for the server lagging but i wonder if my internet is being goofy too uh, maybe i need to upgrade a server let me um pause the recording here and check on something and i'll be right back Okay. So where'd you put the thing? Um, I gotta move this where that water block is, but I'm gonna go down here and build a platform underneath real quick. So don't take my water. Good luck. Um, let's go one more. And get my slabs. Go on the bottom. Oh crap, I'm drowning. Get up here. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. Okay, let me uh let me get a platform on here. Are you gonna make the platform as big as the thing that um, I'm making right now or not? No, I'm gonna make it probably about I don't know, seven or nine wide and then take it back towards underneath the main platform back there. But um it doesn't need to go all the way out around the whole thing, I don't think. So let me get more slabs. Okay. I'm done with uh, placing the blocks. I need more wood. Uh, oh. That's all of them? Okay. I got three stacks of slabs now. Put that back in the right bucket. And I guess I'm just going to be placing slabs. So. All right, guys. So, um, a <laughs> little time lapse here. We, uh, we went ahead and got some dirt in this platform started planting some different trees um, we we're getting ready to start working on making the power uh, cables and transfer pipes and all that good stuff to hook these things up and um, uh, the um, the reason that we didn't record all that uh, was because we're having a little bit of lag issue and it was kind of breaking us up in our call and 
some block lag and all that kind of stuff. So it seems <clears> to <throat> run a little bit better for the moment. So hopefully that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> Should. Um, but yeah. Um. Let's see. So what are we doing? You need um. We need power cables and transfer nodes. If you're working on transfer pipe, right? Yep. All right. I'm gonna work on the uh, the energy conduit. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make this orange kind, which means I need energetic alloy, which is gold, redstone, and glowstone. So I'm going to take a few redstone blocks. And, oh, I only have 20, okay. 29 glowstone, though. I got 37 transfer pipes. Is that enough? Um... That'll Probably us, not, though. That'll get us started, yeah. So, let's see. So, nine, eighteen. Okay, and so from where do you want me to start it up from? Um, you're going to need item transfer. This? Item transfer node, and you're going to need uh, liquid transfer nodes, which are... Yeah. You're going to have to make the item transfer nodes, because I think we've used them all. Okay, I'll just make some. Alright, I'm gonna make 24 energetic alloy so I can make a bunch of uh, stuff. I have binder or conduit binder in here, right? I have 26. That's actually not. Uh, well, that, that might get me started. Um, let me check on my. Okay, that's getting there. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. I'm running sand through this uh, sieve so I can hopefully get a chance for the Ellurium dust so I can make the fuel for um, a big reactor, which we're going to be doing probably within the next episode or two. Um, we do have seven more of these lava generators right now that uh, we... Oh, these are empty. Let me change these out. I gotta walk all the way around. Nope, there, there, there we go. All right, and is my stuff cooking very slowly? All right. Ooh, I have too many power draws right now. I don't know what this thing's drawing 71. That's not doing anything. That's drawing 118 okay. because of the speed upgrades. I don't know what this is drawing. 20. That's not much. Why does it... I guess it's just the power output from the lava generator. Let's try this, actually. Where um, did I put those lava generators? see if I can hook up two more of those to our power supply here. Um, I think we could actually make a better one, like a well, upgraded we, one. We have to have... Um, where's one of your transfer pipes? Oh, right here. I just need one pipe. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. The, that's the node. Yeah, I know. I realized. I think I threw the other one back at you, too. Well, just oh. put it, just put it on the end of that. Or, okay. There, now we got a little more power output. It's gonna burn through that lava like crazy, but... <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna okay. move coal down here, and lapis down here. So how do you want me to do it now? Do you want me to connect the lava to the harvester and stuff? Broken iron. Flint. Um, okay, so we're going to need... Where's my sludge boiler? We're going to need an item transfer node coming out the back. We're also going to need chests. Let me make a couple iron chests. Here? Yeah. Item transfer node on the back. A uh, liquid transfer node on the side. Do it on the side. Um... 
away yeah. f away from the base part. The item transfer node goes on the back, right? Okay, like this? Yeah. Then do the liquid transfer node. Yes, like that. Um, the item transfer node. Let me get these chests. There's a lot of them in here. Can't run. Yeah. Like 17. Okay, well, I need... I'm going to be using... I think two, and I'll make iron upgrades for these at some point. Um, okay, so there's that. Do I have? I ran out of slabs. Okay. Um, so that is going to collect everything that comes out of this, uh, item-wise, like the wood and the uh, any extra saplings and um, apples from the oak trees, stuff like that. The, okay. So it's like a vacuum hopper, or what? Well, the the transfer node's gonna pull it out of the out of the harvester and feed it feed it into the chest. Okay. Um, the now we also gotta feed power to this. That's gonna go in through the bottom uh, mm. as soon as I get that ready. Um, that's not gonna transfer power. <laughs> but okay. Well, if um, I get it from there. No, tra over there. transfer um. pipe transfer pipe won't won't transfer power. That's why I'm making energy conduits. Oh, um, that. <laughs> but, okay, the then this this is going to pull the sludge out of the harvester. Um, and what we want to do is send that to the sludge boiler, which I have in my inventory. Um, and then, but that sludge boiler we want to place far away from where we are going to be because it will kill you. <laughs> um, it's true. So, let's go down below. And I need to make some stinking platforms. Or slabs. Things. Alright, so... If you drop that uh, transfer pipe from that node straight down and just get underneath this floor... We're going to go this way. Okay. There we go. So now what's going to happen is when the harvester works, it always creates sludge. So it's going to feed it from that liquid transfer node. It's going to pull the sludge out and feed it into the sludge boiler. The sludge boiler turns the sludge into different items. And then the item transfer node will pull those out and feed them into this chest up here as well. Now what will eventually happen is that that chest is going to get replaced with an ender chest and it's going to feed our sorting system. Okay. So, uh, that's something we got to work on soon too, but I kind of want to get the house started so we have a place to actually put stuff to sort it. Um, Alright, so we can go back up now. Actually, no, this chest is not going to become an ender chest. This is actually just going to get upgraded to a diamond chest. Then we're going to have to put a uh, item transfer node with item filters. And we're going to filter out the saplings to go to back to the planter. And the other stuff to go to the ender chest to go to our sorting system. Dude, you know we can make a better one than diamond? It's called an obsidian chest. If you look it up, well, it doesn't hold any more though. It's it's blast resistant, but it doesn't hold any more stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because there's also a uh, glass chest that, or a crystal chest that you can yeah. see through, but it holds the same amount. Yeah. As well. That one looks cool. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna expand our ouch our yard over here a little bit. Okay. So, so how do we get power through that thing? To that thing? Um, well, basically you just need a power source and let me grab I'm just going to take two of these lava things. Um, you're going to need a liquid, tra two liquid transfer nodes. Or no, I'm sorry. Got just one liquid transfer node. 
and I have somewhere here actually yeah I don't have enough yet oh that's what I was waiting on my energetic alloy now I can make this now I have some energy cable to work with all right I lagged a little bit there not, not too bad um, so we'll come over here. Uh, oh, huh? grab. Let's see. Well, I need some lava and a tank. Yeah, our lava cow is gone now. <laughs> um, that we had. <clears throat> I actually don't know if I ever had that on video. But yeah, we had a lava cow, and I put him in that pen. Um, he had an accident. <laughs> and my pick just broke. So I need. Oh, I know what else I'm gonna do. One of the things in our book this time, um, let me back up a page, make uh, upgrade an existing part, well, see, we, we made the Tinker's Construct, we have that, upgrade an existing Tinker's tool with a metal part. I've already actually made um, a couple things I have in my ender chest down here. They're not like high-end stuff, it's just iron, but for the sake of the fact that my tool just broke and... Uh, oh, you know what, though? I think I have to... I don't need that many. I just need, like, two pieces. I have to have a fully repaired tool to use this. But basically, once I repair it, I can take this part and put it up here, and it replaces the head with iron, and then the tool rod with iron, and then the binding. Hey, um... With iron, and now I have JP. an iron pick. What's up? You want me to plant this? No, I will kill you. <laughs> go, let's go, let's go, let's <laughs> go. Uh, I'm gonna throw it away. All right. Yes, please. <laughs> um, it's <laughs> big, bigger than our base. This tree. I hate those things. I, I had a bad experience once, and <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, my hatchet takes a lot of flint to repair. Hmm. My godlike flint hatchet only takes one. Mine's on master skill level now, but um, it took four. <laughs> of course, it wasn't completely broken. I think it does take less if it's if you let it break all the way. Um, so okay, I've got energy conduit, and I've got um these lava generators we're just gonna have to get some lava to put on here but for now if I take let's see let's actually just put this over here for now um, put that there just because it looks funny otherwise uh, let's see you know what hold on let's do that that way and we have lag. <laughs> Just a little. Okay. Um, so I'll take this out. And then what we're going to do is run power right here. Actually, will that power it from the side? I'm not even getting, well, I'm not getting energy because there's no lava in there for now. Let me actually see. I just broke a thing. Hold on. I gotta fix it. Alright. Well, uh, you guys get the idea. Um, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We're gonna get this thing powered up and functioning uh, before next time. So, uh, we will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.